still alive. Kevin, you're up. Hey everybody, welcome to an episode of Cupid Calls with your host, Biscuit. Good job, little dude. Welcome to Cupid Calls, where we help you find love for a price, of course. Seriously? This is your newest Get Rich Scheme? Shh, I'm live. We have a great show for you today. First, let's review our current top three pickup lines. We hope you shy introverts out there have been practicing because these will help you make first contact at parties. Okay, the problem most men have is they don't know how to talk to women. Oh, I love parties. Number three, I may not like math, but I'm sure interested in your number. Oh boy. Number two, how about a date watching the stars? We could plan it together. Ugh. And number one, our current favorite. Either I just sat on my taser or you are stunning. Where do you get these from? And if you use our top three, remember people, never date a tennis player. Love means nothing to them. And now a word from our sponsor. You have a sponsor? Give the girl of your dreams a bottle of soda water. Guaranteed, she'll be swept off her feet. Okay, on to the most popular segment of our show. Dial L for love. Dare I ask? It's the calling person of the show. Today we're taking calls from anyone who wants to send a special message to their honey bunch sugar plum. Do we have any calls, Kevin? The phone lines are jammed. I think it's raspberry jam. As long as it's not marmalade, Kevin. Who's our first caller? It's Ewan from Scotland. Okay, Ewan from Scotland, how are you doing today? I am very good, thank you, Biscuit. Great, who are you calling in about today? I would like to leave a message for my Joanne. And what special message do you have for your pretty winkles? Well, I would like to ask if you would be my wife. On your show? Yes. Aww. Congratulations to Joanne and Ewan. You know if your proposal was on Cupid Calls, it's a match made in heaven. Okay, time to wrap it up. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Remember everyone, if you're looking for a date for Valentine's Day, it's February 14th. Bye everyone. Joanne? Marriage is just a fancy word for adopting an overgrown male child who can't be handled by his parents anymore. We all wish you a wonderful future together. Ewan and Joanne are actually big fans of the Cricket Chronicles. They live in Scotland. Ewan actually did propose to Joanne on the Cricket Chronicles. So this is how it went down. Ewan contacted me and said, you know, he wants to propose to Joanne. Uh, so I wrote a script, we shot it, I uploaded it as a private video. He then showed the video to Joanne as if it was just a regular episode. She was quite shocked to see him appear in it. And then right at the spot where Biscuit says, hey, you know, what's your message for your putty winkles? And he proposed. Ewan then sent us the footage. We incorporated it into the final video. And ta-da, here you go, our Valentine's Day special. We'd like to take a second to thank all of our amazing patrons who have really helped us out over the last few years. And if you'd like to join us and support our videos, please join us on Patreon. Okay, we are setting up for Cupid Calls and Kevin decided that he's going to sleep on the ottoman. Upside down. Lights. Camera and green screen. Cricket, 
You reading your robotics book again? Good job. Okay, Kevin's doing his lines. Biscuit is drilling all over her shirt. Hey guys, you're done. Nicely done. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Did you do it? Did you? Good job. Good human. Want a cookie? Love you.